Northumberland, England's last great wilderness. After spending the winter rebuilding our home on wheels, this forgotten corner seemed like the perfect place to have our first shakedown cruise. The views are mighty, the roads are quiet, and the forests are endless. We're Cheska, Ben and River, travelling full time in our Sprinter van, Sophia. Subscribe and join us for Life on the Road, with new videos every Sunday. Nice walk. <clears throat> well guys, we have made it to Northumberland. Yeah, we have gone from the very south, well near enough, to the very north of yes. England. Yeah, Northumberland is in the very northeast of England. It's the least populated county in England and also apparently England's last great wilderness. So we thought it would be the perfect place to have our little shakedown tour and explore a little bit of the country neither has been to before. Yeah, so, and it is very, very quiet up here. Very quiet and peaceful and unspoiled. And we're probably going to spend the next week exploring Northumberland National Park. And then hopefully next week maybe head down the coast, which is meant to be absolutely incredible. So it should be a fun couple of weeks. Yeah, so keep your fingers crossed for the good weather. We need good weather. it's meant to rain all this Apparently week. It's going to be crap after lunchtime today. So we're going to start the morning with a hike. So how are you finding Northumberland so far, babe? It's beautiful, very quiet, and we're in an area called the Simonside Hills, which are just on the outskirts of Northumberland National Park. Ooh, a very popular walking destination by the looks of it. What have you found? Let's zoom out a bit. The river's going to pull you over. Um, a load of wild thyme. Oh, hello. Ah. Ah, she's going back to look at her, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> like a devil dog. River. So we're just walking through an area called Rothbury Forest. It's a nice forestry commission site, but it's absolutely stunning. It reminds me of something like in Scandinavia or Iceland. So many pine trees and fir trees and rocks and boulders and bilby bushes. Looks like something where little elves and trolls live. We're just taking like a little detour out to something called Little Church Rock. No idea what it is, but oh, that looks really cool. GR 1876. So you'd be stood where you are. And this is where all your people would be here listening to you intently whilst telling stories of. Do you think that's what it is, like a pulpit rock, like a sermon place? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. When you said it, this is, what's this, church rock? A little church rock. A little church rock. It does look like a pulpit. And like, this looks like where a lot of people would have stood. That's There's loads of carvings on this rock. Try and get out. Hey, River. You're going to help me get out? It's a bit of a squeeze getting in. I can't see you, you're tucked away oh. in there. There you okay. go. Well, I'm gonna preach today. I'll preach you sort of time. So I've just found a little patch of wood sorrel. This is one of my favorite, favorite things to find and eat because it just tastes like citrusy, lemony goodness. Oh, we've tried this before. I think I've made you try it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm making Ben try it. You no, saying tell that. Already tried it. So I want Ben to try it because he doesn't normally like greens. Mm. It really does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? It doesn't taste offensive at all. No. Might have a bit of dogwee on it, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really flavor. nice. What would you have that with? You'd have it on like a salad and stuff. I think it's kind of going past the season for it now though, but... Is that out, just give me it out of date? <laughs> no. The Simonside Hills are a spectacular place to hike and a place we really just stumbled across by chance. It's a forested, rocky landscape that apparently held spiritual significance to the Bronze Age people who lived here over 5,000 years ago. From the top of the crags, the land falls away to the Cheviot Hills and beyond, a Northumberland landscape that is untouched in its beauty. Red grouse, adders and red squirrels call this place home. 
Oh, oh, we're back in time for lunch. Should we get the kettle on? Could do like an ice cream. It was a bit nippy at the top, was it? But now oh, it's so warm in the well sunshine. Sweet. That was good though. Oh, I needed that. Yeah. It's a little bit later now, the sun has gone in, we're settling in for the night. And the car park is emptying, it's a big walkers car park this one, it was very very busy this afternoon but it has quietened down quite a bit. So the rain is meant to set in this evening apparently, just in time for our big explore of Northumberland. <laughs> yeah exactly. It's got a wrap station going on. Yeah, just cooking them on there. Thank you. Some hot and done. You look tired River. <laughs> Why am I concerned that these are going to be... Because they're chilli and lime, so they might be a little bit spicy for you. How do people eat leftovers? I, no matter how much we cook, we never have leftovers. Do it's because we? we're greedy, I think. We just... Like now, there's like a bit of rice leftover, so I'm going to... Finish it off. Finish it off. River. Um... We ran out of wraps, didn't we? <laughs> no more wraps though. They were nice, they were. They were really good. Okay, so we're going to go for a little evening stroll and I really want to show you something pretty cool that is just up here on the hill behind us. Let's go. Behind me is a massive stone marked with these ring and cup shapes, which is Neolithic rock art. How amazing is that? 5,000 years ago. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. I've never seen something like that. So if you're just walking past, you might not see all these markings, but like once you've seen them, you can't unsee them. If you know what I mean? Every stone we've come across, we've seen, we've tried to see if there's any more, haven't we? Yeah. But what does it mean? What does it mean? Like circles and these cups and the rings. What does it mean? What does it mean? We will never know. The agenda for today is laundry. We've got a van admin day today. Van admin day today. So we've got laundry, um, take all our rubbish and recycling. We've got to fill up the water, hopefully. Um, do some shopping. Do some shopping. So yeah. It's all... And then find a park up for tonight. Yeah. Not too bad. Oh, there's nice big parking as well. I think it's our first time using one of these in the UK, isn't it? Like, we've never used yeah, a UK Yeah, it's actually because well, it's a... You yeah. can actually understand the instructions this time. <laughs> that's true, yeah. <laughs> All done? Nice dry, feeling fresh. <laughs> And now we have driven through the rain to try and find a spot with some signal where we could get some work done this afternoon and we've arrived at a little car park that's like the start of a little walk along to a viaduct and stuff looks really nice there's been a few dog walkers here today i'm just cooking us some dinner and then i think we're going to go and have a little explore down one of the footpaths here but yeah the weather hasn't been the greatest the rain has arrived but we've got some really exciting plans in the next few days so hopefully the rain shouldn't stop it Northumberland is like literally I've, so <laughs> unheard of like for a place to come. It is it's a little secret isn't it? It's a hidden gem. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> and so it's the first place in the UK I could say that I would be happy to buy a stone like oh I can't properly see it. Like a house like this here here. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Apart from Devon obviously. 
I mean, just here, so this is an old railway track. Then we've got just like fields. There's the moorlands over there. It's just completely unspoiled. The problem with things like this, like a beautiful viaduct, is that you really need to see it from the ground so that you can appreciate it. Because when you're on top of it, you can't see what's beneath you. We are very, very, very high up, however. Wow, this is... That's amazing. The views from here are absolutely amazing. It looks like a mountain river, a huge forest. What do you think? What a view, eh? Look at that. That's gorgeous. The river coming around. What a beautiful place to have a house and a farm. Oh, good girl. She's not keen on like metal gratings, is she? Well done. <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna. So that's a loose one there. No, stay, stay. Right, if you take the lead. You got her? No. Okay. Oh. You got her? Right. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Let me get her down. Yeah, okay. So, oh, we got part way across. She got into the middle and she just properly panicked and slammed her body down. But then she was looking on one side, but as you can see, she was looking here, there, but didn't like it. So she was edging backwards and nearly edged off the back there. Oh. So I had to pin her down <laughs> to stop her from moving and then just had to grab her onto me. Oh. So then I had to get a chest to come along to the bridge so she could take the lead so I could unpin River and hold her properly. Gah! And to be fair, chest doesn't like it either. Gah! Well, that was a bit of a panic. Anyway, what I want to show you is how beautiful it is from down here, look. Hello! Hello! Let's try to zoom you in. River! Hello! Wait, I should say, down the floor. That bridge is too narrow. You should see it from up here. Yeah, look, there you go, there's my feet. Jot. There you go. You did very well to put your fears over and come and help me. Stop River from backing up, didn't you? You literally scared the shit out of me though. Did you tell them that she backed up like I was explaining legs were gonna go up I was explaining she was fine till halfway. And then she just and then like freaked. Freaked. Didn't want to go couldn't go forward, so she's backing up but didn't realise yeah she was gonna fall behind. And I was saying I had to pin her down <laughs> until I could get under because I couldn't so I couldn't scary. move with the with the Oh my god. She'd have been hanging. Oh I can't even think about it. She would have fallen out of that harness. And she would have fallen onto these rocks, easy. Oh, I don't want She's to... alright now, she's okay, look. Yeah, she's, she's just fine. She's having a whale of a time. It's been nice and wet for getting back in the van. I don't mind. She's okay, she's alive. Right, we are back, aren't we? River, what are you doing? You're wet. But slightly dried off. Chess is getting the. Pan on for some hot chocolate. No, oh, who's that? Is that nice? Ooh, look at that, posh. 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 P O S. -S. Give it a good stir. Oh, you want me? You don't want me to stop, is that right? <laughs> Right, 
early this morning. We are heading off to Hadrian's Wall, which we realized we're really not that far from. If you didn't know, Hadrian's Wall is an old Roman wall that once separated England and Scotland. Huge parts of it still remain. It's kind of like England's answer to the Great Wall of China, but just on a much smaller scale. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna go check it out this morning. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's what inspired the wall in Game of Thrones, and it looks like something from Game of Thrones. So, what do you think? We're walking on Hadrian's Wall. Um, Joe, I didn't realise so much of it was left intact still. I thought it would be just like a little bit that you had to go and pay and go and see, but it's actually pretty much all stuff. And what I love about it is just it's this, you can see this ridge line and it is an epic, epic ridge line that just kind of dominates the landscape with this kind of spine on top, which is the wall. It is just amazing to look at. <laughs> Okay, so we have made it to Sycamore Gap. A famous scene from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves was filmed here. Amazing film, cracking soundtrack. But it's a, a gap in the wall where a huge sycamore tree grows and it is absolutely stunning. Hadrian's Wall stretches from coast to coast and was built by the Emperor Hadrian in AD 122. It took 15,000 men about six years to build. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't actually mark the border with Scotland and never has. It was the Roman Empire's northern frontier. Okay, so we've left Hadrian's Wall now. That was absolutely amazing. We didn't do one of the major hikes. There are a lot of hikes that leave from that car park and um, that you could obviously walk some big circular walks around the, around the wall. So we were at a steel rig car park. It was recommended to us by some of you on Instagram as having the best views of Hadrian's Wall. And from what we've seen, we completely agree. It was absolutely epic. So it's a great spot just to go and see the wall if you don't want to do a massive hike, but you can do a big hike if you want to. So absolutely loved it there. We are now on our way to go and get a food shop. We need to stock up for the next few days because we're heading off into Kielder Forest, which is pretty remote. Okay, so our plan is to actually head into Kilda Forest, which is this huge, huge forest in the north of Northumberland. It's a dark sky area, but it has notoriously zero signal, no phone signal, no Wi-Fi and stuff. So we've been trying to find a park up just outside of Kilda and we've got a little bit carried away and uh, we've ended up in Scotland. 20 minutes over the border, aren't we? In an amazing park up, which is overlooking and we'll show you. What is it overlooking? <laughs> <laughs> overlooking the forests and the mountains, it looks absolutely beautiful. So we're only here for the night. Gosh, it's only quarter to three. We're only here for the night and then we'll leave an early morning to get to Kilda nice and early. And we're going to hit some hikes tomorrow. That's amazing, isn't it? Just look at that view. This is absolutely epic. If we are surrounded by midges. The midges are definitely out in force. It's a nice welcome to Scotland. Right, there's this little creepy wood right next to where we're parked. And Ben said that River wouldn't go in it early and it is kind of spooky looking. There's a track that leads up from the van all the way down here and in. There's a what? Someone's left a tent. Can you shine your torch on it? What's that, a tent? Yeah, God, why is it so dark in here?
Well, that was a creepy forest. Oh, Brought us out, to, yeah, just like <laughs> where the all the new saplings yeah. are planted. I don't know if you can hear in the background. That's the noise of there's been these logging trucks going up and down this field constantly all day, and you can just see like huge tracks of where they've like just cut the the pine trees and planted new ones. Yeah, on them. These views are absolutely insane. Joe, you know, this is one of the nicest drives. In fact, this is the best drive in the UK we've done, I would say. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So as I might have mentioned, Kilda Forest, I think, is one of the largest forests in England. And on our way up to Scotland, we passed like a sign that was said Forest Drive. And looking on a map, it looks like it takes you straight through the heart of the forest. Now, we just thought a lot of the activities and walks centered around the, like this reservoir, which is just one part of the forest. But yeah, this drive looks like it takes you right, right through, through the very heart of it. So we've come onto it and it is literally just a gravel track, but there are signs and everything. It looks like it's, you know, designed as a tourist route that you can drive through it, but so far it's pretty epic, isn't it? It's brilliant. There's yeah. so many like logging areas that are where they've obviously used it for timber and stuff and it's just like nothing now. It's gone, it's like desolate, isn't it? Looks it? quite desolate, yeah. But yeah, this should be a fun drive. We spent the next couple of hours strolling through the trees, taking in this awe-inspiring forest and meeting some friendly floof balls along the way. Whoever said Northumberland is England's last great wilderness definitely spent time here. We'll be sad to say goodbye, but join us next week as we make our way towards the coast where castles and white sand beaches await. See you next week, guys. We made it to Northumberland. No, oh, I didn't register that whole thing. So the agenda for today, Are you tired, River? You're tired, aren't you? <laughs> She's trying so hard not to fall over. <laughs> so our plan is actually to head to Kilda Forest, which is this huge forest. <laughs> what do I say? Yeah, so we just bumped into someone. In the car park? In the car park, who someone follows us. 
I do apologise, I didn't catch your name, but I'm sorry, but it was lovely to meet you, and I hope you're enjoying Northumbria as much as we are. See, I need